The NBC is currently drowning in historical debt of about $363 million. Of this, $124 million, excluding interest, is owed to Huawei Technologies for their DTT services. The NBC is underfunded, with a government subsidy of only 140 million, the money is nowhere near enough to cover annual salaries amounting to 262,5 million dollars. Retaining the current level of staffing at the NBC is no longer sustainable and has the effect of totally collapsing the entity. Yes, the outcome of this exercise will invariably lead to retrenchments. But then I'm asking the following question. What choice do we have when annual staff costs, and listen to this, when annual staff costs alone stands at 262 million Namibia dollars. Drastic measures will have to be taken if government doesn't intervene, the ICT minister said. The NBC is technically insolvent and demands a huge financial injection from its shareholder. As line minister, I still have faith, Honorable Deputy Speaker, I still have faith that government will do its utmost best to keep this public entity afloat. Restructuring at the NBC is a totally unavoidable evil. Painful as it is, it is a totally unavoidable evil. But we will approach that in a very responsible manner, as a responsible government. In his response, Van Veik says government should have foreseen NBC's financial position. Parliament is to be blamed for this problem. No, so the Swabo, the, the Swabo party uh, is, not, is supposed to be blamed hello. because hello. you, you draw, oh, drew Lema. up the budget. The, the money Lema. was not enough and we, rea we have realized that and nothing was done. Nothing was done. On the other end, it is also... Let's try to... I, I'm almost through. Yes. Yeah. Let's not politicize the whole thing. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.